Hello everybody, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, sorry I haven't been recording much in this past month. I don't think I've recorded anything in the past month. That's because uh, school started for me, so I took a break to focus on school, getting set in, doing homework, stuff like that. But I should be back to my normal stuff now. And I thought I should start out with Hearts of Iron 4, playing as Poland, see if we can survive uh, an assault from the German Reich if they attack. Because I'm not going to be playing with historical AI, because that's boring. <coughs> so let's jump right in. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Huh. We start out with more than, um, Germany here. But I bet you, though, those troops of Germany are a lot more powerful than our 40. Alright, let's... I think we should start working up our industry here. So let's do this to start out with. Civilian factories, how many do we got? We got a couple. What about for our military? We got nine. Hmm. I think we should build uh, one in one, just a military factory. Whoops. Dockyards. We should build some convoys. Whoop. And uh, let's even this out here. Got any tanks? Um, great war tanks, not much though. Seen any supplies? Nope. So then let's put two more into here. And one more into here. We're missing a lot of supplies, so I think we should. Aren't I building something? I am. Let's uh, do this here. Steel. You're up. Let's trade with Czechoslovakia. For our oil, let's trade with Romania. For our aluminum, how about we trade with our neighbors? And I don't want to trade with any of our neighbors. In that case, let's trade with the Dutch for oil. And for our rubber, I guess we'll trade with the Dutch again. Alright. Now, what do we want to go for? Oh, I'm just going to speed this up here. What do we want to go for? A four-year plan? I'll get us an additional research spot. spot. Increase our industry. Same with the central region strategy. Prepare for the next war. Get our like defenses up. We could always do that a bit later. Like, maybe start doing that in 1937. Or, what we could do, is we could farm the Maizy Moors and basically create our own little faction. Hmm, maybe we could do that. How many days would that take? 70, 140, 280... Alright, to create the Maizy Moors. 280, then 35... 350 days. Er, Alright. 350 days, so a year, and that in 1937. I think we'll wait on the Mighty Moors and first go for. develop strengthening the Polish state. Oh, yeah, that'll get us a bunch of political power. Let's do that. We're low on manpower. We don't care. Because we're the Poles. I'm going to turn down the sound here real quick. <clears throat> there we go. Just a bit. Alright, now let's split up our 
our armies here? Do we have any default generals? Oh yes, we have a lot. Ah, uh, that's good. Alright, okay. What do we got in terms of mountaineers? Let's select all of our mountaineer divisions. Which isn't much. <laughs> in that case, for skill, let's send in... Wow. Our weakest guys are still pretty powerful. So your max planning, own combat with, reconnaissance. With mountain... Hmm... Let's put Stanislaw Kopansky... Ugh. I probably butchered that to the max. We have a lot of cavalry, which, believe it or not, is kind of historically accurate. During the time of the Polish invasion, Poland still had, like, your classic medieval cavalry with lances and stuff like that. Obviously, they didn't do very well. Um... There's this classic story, not really classic, but there's a story that some Polish cavalry tried to charge some tanks, and um, I believe you can all assume how that went. Alright, and when it comes to our main army, we might split it between Prussia and uh, the German line. I think we should mainly focus on defenses there, Prussia and the German line. I don't think we have much to worry about. Who should we put in charge of this? Armor, Roman, Abraham. I think we'll put this... I think I'll put Waldeslaw Sikor Sikorsky instead, actually. Alright, I'm gonna change this color to a good old Polish color. Oh no, that's what that looks. It doesn't really match it perfectly. What's this? Our cavalry. Sure, yeah, whatever. That's a good color for our mountaineers. I'll be like pretty themed here. Mountaineers. Cavalry. There we go. Alright, what do we want to do here? Let's set our cavalry into Prussia. Our cavalry are in pressure here. If they attack us, we'll be able to. Uh, let's also move our troops. Let's also move our mountaineers to Prussia. Sharp the defenses. Because their main uh, attacks will probably come from Germany here. No, I'm preparing for like a war that's gonna happen in two years, but. It's always good to plan ahead. Oh boy, we have a bunch of planes. Fighters, close air support. Alright, yeah, that's good. Let's move these guys though over here instead. Play. What do we have for a navy? Oh, just this. In that case, let's combine the two. We don't even start out with a commander. Just patrolled Baltic. <laughs> I wonder how World War II will start. Ah, uh, uh, in my personal campaign where I'm playing as the People's Republic of China, the war started with Czechoslovakia because the Munich Agreement did not go uh, necessarily as planned. Right, do we have any motorized? So I was thinking we could change. Oof. Uh, all right, do we have any motorized? We do not. All right. So once these are done, I think the first thing we should do to work on will... <coughs> <coughs> uh, sorry about that. Will be our... Um, I'm having a brain fart here. Motorized. Yeah, obviously. Pausing in. Actually, I'm surprised how little we start out with. Once, I think we should bo boost our... Um, Volunteermen shipped up first. Guess to limited conscription. Although, once this is done, we'll get plus 120. So, if we get... Um, 
Actually, that won't work out. Okay, we have occupied territories. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right, of Ukraine. I forgot this was added. Yeah. But the new update came out. It added Ukraine. Added uh, some Caucas the Caucasian countries here. Uh, were there any others? Oh, yeah. Added uh, the Indochina countries. Added Malaysia. Indonesia. Um, I think that's it, though. Whoa, that was that was a bit crazy there. All right, all we gotta do now is prepare for the Great War. We're not building anything, so in that case, we will only be five. We have some forts there, but I think we should work on just getting. Let's just start out with one fort here. There we go, all along the border. Not here, though. That's the border with Czechoslovakia. Poor Czechoslovakia. They didn't stand a chance. <laughs> After the Munich Agreement, they got Sudetenland. They got the Sudetenland. Whatever it's called. And then Poland comes in, takes this area here. While Hungary goes in and takes this area and this little area here. Afterwards, they were just crushed. It was so easy for Germany to come in and annex them. They didn't stand a chance, even if they did decide to fight back. Uh. <coughs> World War II, I tell ya, that was... I really enjoy talking about World War II, because... Oh, yes, yeah, that's right, we were gonna uh, put our Mountaineer divisions here. Strong Mountaineers. And then we have a Strong. Whoops, I spelled that wrong. Strong Caval. Caval. Cavalry. Whoops, forgot the L. Strong cavalry, and then we have our main army here. Pretty soon, though, our cavalry will be motorized divisions, and this will be is our main. Uh, why do I keep doing that? Strong army, led by Wladyslaw Sikorski. I can't really pronounce Polish names. I haven't really come much in contact with them. We'll just call this the Polish Army. Or this, I could always say Strong Army, but, uh. Alright. Mountaineer 1, you guys head over here. And. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, head over here. Well. Army 2, you guys head over here. We're missing two spots, I see it. Which is perfect. Although, I mean, once the war and once the war starts, 12 divisions here of like just a couple thousand troops won't stop the Prussian advance. I, I have to say, resist the Tuski. Saw here. Man, Poland, they didn't stand a chance. Every time I think about it, they didn't stand a chance. But we, we are a new Polish army. We will stand against the enemy. We will fight back. Oh, wait. You know what I'm gonna do? Just put a little thing here with you. And then I'm gonna put a little thing here with you so I can at least get a good. Oh, it was already. Alright, that's good. 
Strengthen the Polish state. We got 198. Alright. Polish militarism. Ooh, that increases our recruitable population. That's actually pretty good. Alright, what did we want to do? Yes, move to limited conscription. Oh yes, that bumped it up. Although it's only 2.5%. 32 million. It got bumped up. Are we missing anything? Yes, we are. We are missing a lot of infantry equipment. Two a day. That's a reasonable here. We are missing some steel. Alright. Let's grab some more steel from... That's Spain. Belgium? Sure, the Belgians. We have no divisions in basic training. Yeah, there's a, there's a reason for that. 9,000 troops. We have a bunch of support stuff. <laughs> What's up about the yawn? I am recording this in uh, of the, of the wee hours of the morning. As in 9.30, which isn't really the wee hours of the morning. Well, uh, it isn't for me, but I guess to some it could be. <clears throat> Germany. I guess there isn't much going on. Just gotta building up our forts and our defense. Oh yeah, we should probably, actually now that I say that, we should probably put down some forts in... Uh, Uh, around Prussia here. Better safe than sorry, you know. Just do whatever we can. Oops. Ah, why is it? Hey, let's do this slowly. One. None. One. 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 Oh. Oh boy, a lot of stuff happened. Spanish Civil War. <gasps> Oh my gosh, what if we became communist? We should... Ooh. Should we become communist? Why aren't you researching? Hmm. Let me finish building this stuff up real quick. Oh, I was just super slow, okay. Yeah, my computer has been acting up a bit lately. So things may be a bit slow. But we should... Ooh, we should very much become communist. At any rate, we should help out the com... Oh, we can't send volunteers. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Republican Spain. Jose Diaz. With Francisca Franco. These guys do start out with more troops, but... These troops are uh, a lot uh, less powerful than uh, their other uh, fascist Spain counterparts. Maybe we should invade Romania or Czechoslovakia. What does Czechoslovakia all have? 20 iron, some tungsten. Ooh, the iron's good. These guys got some oil, though. I don't think, though, we're actually trading oil. Though. Yeah, we don't need oil anymore. Or rubber, for that matter. Still do need steel. Shoot. Otherwise, we could do one. We get rid of one here. Yeah. But if we take Czechoslovakia, how many troops do they about have? Oops, ah. 29 to 32. We do outnumber them. Hmm. 7, 14, 16. Romania. 7, 3. I don't think this is very accurate. It by no it doesn't seem to be changing. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
So these guys, yeah, I guess they do have seven. Hmm, yeah, why don't we go and take Czechoslovakia? Why are we here setting up so many defenses so early on? Let's remove these here. Let's put our Mountaineer Division with these guys. Let's split up this army. Whoops. Select all first. There we go. 15-15. Good, we have at least one Mountaineer Division. Who should we put? Sinoslas, Sikorsky, Kapansky, Max Planning. They have no armor. Roman Abraham, maybe? Sure. I don't remember what that old color was, but it was like a nice rich pink. Or something like this. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Alright, let's set our troops down here then. Let's rename this one to, uh, Strong Army 2. Whoops, I don't know why I just pressed shift. Old habit. Oh, we missed a spot here. There we go. Alright, we are preparing to go to war with Czechoslovakia. Maybe we can puppet them. Incorporate them into the... Uh, ooh, but when they go and annex that land, will it automatically decline? Or what? Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. We still got troops on that border. I need to, to go go into a bit of editing mode and put move this strong. Oops. Oop, that. There we go. All right, now let's make plans of action. The cavalry will go in with a shock, and just come in through the bottom portion here. In that case, we should focus our cavalry on that area. Around right here. Our main strong army, led by, I'll just call him Sikorsky, Come in and cover it and blockade this position here. In that case, we should probably shorten this up. So we have a higher concentration of soldiers here. Well this well this strong army here comes in to support this will be our support army and we'll come in uh, on both and just take this half. That'll be our main goal for a first plan to take this little tail of Czechoslovakia. And then once we do that, then go in and take the main, this part here with Prague and everything. Of course, it won't really be easy. We still have a bit to go. We got this, so I think we should divert all of our resources to uh, trying to get this deficit deficit off. Would I still be able to? Nope, yeah. We, we really gotta focus on handling that deficit. Alright, how will this go? Yeah, supporting both army forces. This is just coming in there. Well, this is... Yep, excellent. Just coming in there. Alright, yep. We have our plans in place. Let's move our planes over to where to their respective areas. Oh, we have some planes in reserve. Some inner war fighters. Alright, let's let's put them in here. Okay. Deploying from reserves. <coughs> oh, 
And I guess while we're waiting, we should probably ready a uh, war goal on Czechoslovakia. Gawiterg. Alright, I think we're going to become, uh, co uh, uh, yes, communism. Communist, what do we want to do? Polish militarism. Excellent. Oh, look at that. 1.28 million. Perfect. It's not the best, but... Wait, generate war goal tension limit minus 40%. Oh, we're doing this one first. By far. Alright. Oh, yes. And then we said we were going to work on motorized. Alright. And with that, I think I'll end it there for right now. We're playing as Poland. See if we can't weather the storm that will be World War II. Uh, we're preparing for war against Czechoslovakia while at the same time building defenses on the German border. Ethiopia was just annexed. Uh, as always, if you liked what you saw, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time!